Hello, and welcome to this tutorial for Blackboard 9.1. Today we're going to be talking about grading and interpreting a safe assignment. To view a safe assignment report, you'll need to go to your grade center where you'd normally see all of your students' assignments. And that's under the control panel, grade center, and we're going to click on full grade center. So from here, you can see that user number four did turn something into the safe assignment. If you click the double drop down menu, We'll go to View Grade Details to see a little bit more. Here you can see the date that they submitted and the date that it was created. To see even more, we'll go to View User Activity. Here we can view the text of the document that he turned in, download the file, and the most important thing, read the SA report. So if you click on that, we'll bring up a new window. Here's the Safe Assign report. SafeAssign matches your students' papers against documents from the internet, from databases of publications and document archives, and even papers from other universities to prevent cross-institutional plagiarism. So all the information about your student's paper is up here at the top. The suspected sources are here below. Basically, this paper only had one suspected source, but it was a big one. If we highlight over the top, it shows the, the website that the plagiarized content came from, and it highlights it in the paper text below. So you can see in the matching up here at the top, it's at 100%. That basically means that 100% of this paper was plagiarized from anyfreepapers.com. <laughs> if there were multiple sources of plagiarism, those would be listed below 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. They would all have their own separate colors as well, so you'd be able to scroll down your page and see which parts came from which sections. Now if there's something listed here, that doesn't mean necessarily that it was plagiarized. Your student might have quoted from that source, or even, you know, correctly cited it. So let's say you found certain sections of that. If you wanted to reprocess the paper without the selected courses, you would select the checkbox and reprocess that. It might take a little while because it basically has to reprocess the entire thing again. But when you came back, the matching would be less because you would know that those certain sections that SafeAssign thought were plagiarized were really just quoted or cited. So once you have this information from SafeAssign, you can make an informed grade on the paper. Close this out, and your grade for your points possible and even feedback for the student you can enter here. And once you submit that, your grade has been saved for that paper. And that concludes this tutorial for Blackboard 9.1.